seven two people are at the same level and if one of the two moves ahead the other is mostly not comfortable of this fact whereas had the same person not been known to him the second fellow would still have been comfortable why is it so that knowing someone leads to problems including jealousy there is very little left to be answered here the fact has been rightly stated it is just that you have known the fellow since a period of time and now the fellow is changing obviously you cannot the fact that you have known him obviously there are images from the past and compared to that if those images the fact of today is different i'm not asking you to forget the images of the past i am not asking you to look at that man in a new light i am not asking you to look at him as if you are looking at him for the first time today because that is probably not possible for you you have been too close too intimate for too long to look at that man afresh yes you have a past yes the changed man is standing right in front of you now if you really love the man isn't this a cause worth celebrating isn't this a development to be rejoiced do not forget that earlier he was with you because he will not be able to forget but today if he is a little unlike you should you not celebrate this fact or would you rather mourn and complain and be jealous and if jealousy is arising in you it's a fair opportunity to reflect on the quality of the relationship that has always been there i have been with somebody and i do not like the fact that he is refining now has the relationship been of love had it been of love i would have been happy i would have said great that you are moving ahead i love you even more now i loved you then and you are far more lovable today or would you rather regret and rue your child gets 70 marks in one examination in the next examination he gets 80 do you feel disappointed what do you say it's great that he is improving then why do you feel disappointed when your spouse starts getting 10% more in the exam of life he is improving he is a better man celebrate but you can celebrate his refinement only if first of all you value refinement 
I loved you for your crudeness. I loved you for your ignorance. I loved you for your violence. I loved you for your servility. And I do not value freedom or refinement or wisdom. When I do not value refinement or wisdom or freedom, how will I love a wise, refined and free man? How will I love? Somebody getting 10 more marks is a very gross event. It is obvious and visible that from 70 there is a, an increase to 80. And I wanted that increase, right? But if you don't want that increase, then that same, same increase can be a cause of regret. Oh, I didn't want this to increase. It has increased. Marks increase from 70 to 80, you celebrate. But if your weight increases from 70 to 80, you don't really celebrate that much. It's a question of valuing. You value marks, but weight is not valuable. You start calling yourself overweight. Do you value wisdom? Do you value peace? Do you value understanding? Do you? And if you don't value these things for yourself, obviously you cannot value these for your husband. First of all, you have to value these for yourself. A wise woman would thank the heavens that the husband is gaining in wisdom. A free mind would fill up with gratitude that the partner too is gaining freedom. So, remove the spouse from the question, remove the other person from the equation. Look at yourself. What do I value? What have I labeled as important in life? When you would be rightly valuing, hmm? not somebody else, first of all yourself, when you would be rightly knowing what is valuable, then you would value all the right things and all the right people and all the right developments. Then you would not resist them. Then you would not wish that things would have been better had this not happened. Oh, you were better off earlier. Why don't you become the same old man? I miss what you were one year back, then these things will not come to your mind. Have your heart at the right place. When somebody is waking up and you are really friends with him, then wake up along with him. That is the only way to keep company. That is the only way to maintain the friendship. Otherwise, there can be no friendship between the running and the limping. that we see in the same person because he's changed. But what if there's two people, one person who, who's known to me and is in the same level 
and probably if this person is rising up, it would cause a, a breath of jealousy in me. However, if there's a third person who is not known to me, and uh, I would fairly be quite happy with the movement this person has because he's not known to me. And I think probably he deserves it because now, because I'm not known him from the past. So probably they're both moving in the same level, but this person is calling it Factually jealousy. infeasible. Movement means comparison. Movement is always from A to B. If you are saying this person is showing a movement, it means you have known him in the past. You cannot say somebody is improving without having a standard to compare him against. How do you know somebody is improving? Only by knowing firstly what he has been. Do you understand what I am saying? Uh, transition. However, what about the relationship? Ah, attachment. Yeah. The attachment part of right. it. Right. It's all right. Be attached. But to what? What are you attached to? I'll not just announce that attachment is bad. I'm saying all right, be attached. But what are you attached to? There is something about the man that was there in him two years back that you are attached to. What is it that you feel attached to? His ignorance? Or his love. If you are attached to his love, then he is becoming all the more worthy of love. Kindly be all the more attached. Wonderful. Divine attachment. But you will have problems if you are attached to his darkness. And what gets attached to darkness? Does light get attached to darkness? It is your own darkness that is fond of darkness. So, I am saying forget the other person, look at yourself, hmm? dispel the darkness within and then you will value all that light. Being dark within, how will you value light? If there are people in your life who are not happy with the fact that your eyes are opening up, that you are able to look at the world clearly, then please know that this resentment is not coming from their light. It is coming from their darkness and hence this resentment cannot be made important. If your friends taunt you when you turn up for the clarity session, then they are not your friends in the first place. Please understand this. Friend by definition is a well-wisher. A friend by definition is a man who would celebrate if you are improving. Not a man who would be jealous and irritated. Seeing you walk the path of liberation. He is not a friend at all. But do not condemn him. Because if he is not a friend to you, firstly he is not even a friend to himself. He is his own enemy. How can he be a friend to you? We make friends with so many people, 
without even asking is that fellow a friend to himself first he is his own enemy how can he be my friend the one does who does not know what is good for him how will he know or like what is good for you he is bound to resent it how can you give importance to their resentment